The world of paint correction and polishing is getting more complicated by the minute. And every week we receive hundreds of questions in comments on social media, on videos and emails. We want to answer those questions. This is Rupa's Replies. Our team has observed all over the world that professionals struggle with the concept of cycle time while they're using their compounds and polishes. So let's take this opportunity to define what cycle time is. For example, our current generation of our DA system has built in performance where we extended the polishing time just a little bit beyond our previous generation of products. And this was intentional, uh, but many people struggle with knowing what is a shorter cycle, what is a longer cycle, and how does that impact their results. So cycle time can be formulated into the product, meaning that the application can be dialed in for a shorter application or a longer application. And this can be experienced by shorter compounds or polishes. They tend to change their behavior during the application. In other words, it may actually dry up at the end of, of the application. The viscosity might change, the color may change, things may change throughout that application. By contrast, longer cycle products, you may not notice those subtle changes and it may behave very consistently through the whole application and you can actually get more passes and more time with products like that. So that's the difference between longer and shorter cycle products. Now these cycle times are impacted by a set of variables. The formula itself, meaning a chemist can actually tune in a cycle behavior, the climate that the user is in, the pad choice, the tool choice, the technique used, all of these things can really impact cycle time. What we know about the marketplace and what we know about you is there are definite user preferences on cycle time. So some of you, although you may not think of it this way, but some of you prefer products that are on the shorter cycle time and some actually prefer longer working times. So this user preference is actually built into these products. So how do you know? How do you know that the product you're using is intentionally a shorter side or intentionally on the longer side? Well, there are some things you can observe. Like I said earlier, during the application, if you observe a distinct change in the product's behavior and by the end of your application, it's drying out, it's going to a clear liquid, uh, the viscosity is getting thinner, that's probably a shorter cycle product. But if you can go pass after pass and minute or second after second, and it continues to maintain its appearance and its behavior, you're probably using a longer cycle product. Now, one thing to point out here, there's a lot of misconception about cycle time and its relationship to abrasive cycle. So in other words, what is the abrasive doing during the application? The abrasive cycle and what the abrasive is doing has nothing to do with this polish cycle. So what you are observing as the user, it's not telling you what the abrasives are doing. So keep that in mind. But the point of all this is know your preferences, know what products you're using. And the main advice we can give you here is if you are using a short cycle product, it's not a good idea to long cycle that. In other words, pay attention to the behavior of the short cycle product and actually pay attention to when it starts drying out and clearing out and use that product within that parameter. So we don't want you to take a short cycle product and long cycle it, but you can take a long cycle product and short cycle it. Uh, that is within the performance built into that type of product. So hope, hopefully this was helpful for you. Please like and subscribe, and maybe your questions and comments will be part of our new Rupus replies.